This video demonstrates how to use Setup in Media Show, one of the first things you'll want to do when you first launch the app. Setup is located in the lower left of the Media Show Pro interface. Selecting it takes you to a setup screen with several options across the top. We'll start in the upper left with Config, which allows you to change some default config settings for new buttons in button sets in Media Show. Option one is the path to button sets in the media folders. Here it is set to the default as it would be after a new installation. But here you can select any properly formatted data directory on any drive on your computer. As an example, I'll show how I'm going to navigate to a hard drive I have connected called Show Archive, and in it I have another Media Show folder, which I've got button sets and media that are different than the one in my default installation. So I'll select this folder, hit Choose, and my path has changed now to my Show Archive drive and my new folder. Be sure to hit update if you do this so Media Show will reload with a new path. I'm going to change it back to default and you'll see it's returned to the original installed default directory. Next you have several button defaults, button volume 0 to 10 and button default autoplay and loop which controls how the button performs when you select it in your button set. Next, you have several options for video control. Video frame stepping, which is from 1 to 60 frames, and video frame skipping, 30 frames to 1800 frames. These are important with the playback controls for video files. You also have two settings for subtitles. The subtitle default font size, it's a relative number from 1 to 30. In general, on all setups, smaller numbers are better. And then you have default font position, which is a percentage from the bottom of the screen to directly overhead. Lower values will put the subtitles just above the horizon in a planetarium setting. The last setting is video renderer, and it's for Windows only. And it refers to how Windows operating system displays video on the screen. If you were to encounter any issues with Media Show, for instance, playing video and only hearing the audio but not seeing an image, you might need to change this setting. In general though, all systems should be fine with the default setting of VMR7. If you make any changes in your config settings, be sure to hit update. If not, hit cancel and return to the setup screen. The second option is check for updates, a new feature in Media Show 6.1 and higher. Check for updates does just that, goes to the internet, looks and verifies that your copy of Media Show is up to date with the latest version available for download. If not, this button would be active and would take you to our website where you could download the latest version. The final setting and setup are display settings. As you can see in the center of the screen is a representation of the number of displays Media Show has detected I have connected to my computer. For the purposes of this demo, I have my Media Show display indicated here with the yellow box as a 1920 by 1080 window centered on my primary monitor. I also have a secondary monitor attached in my dual monitor setup. If I wish, for instance, to target the second display for my Media Show display window, I could select full screen and click on the second display, or I could show full screen on my primary. If I wanted to, I could change to any one of these other preset display sizes as I was using before was 1920 by 1080. I can also position it in, in, the, in the corner or the center by clicking with the mouse. If you make any changes with your display settings, be sure to hit Save Display Settings. If not, simply hit Back. If you hit Back without saving, your display will return to the original settings you had before you entered Setup. Going back to the Media Show display, any changes will be incorporated as Media Show reloads, and now you're ready to load a button set and begin viewing buttons.